Well, hello there. So, lately I've been getting some comments uh, from people saying and asking uh, when I would upload new videos because I haven't uploaded anything in I don't know how many months. Um, I thought I owe you guys an explanation about this. So, I'm moving. As you can see, I am moving. Um, these are all of my things boxed up. Well, some of them aren't mine, but you get the idea. Um, I was supposed to be in the new house uh, about three months ago. However, I'm still here. Um, things didn't turn out uh, like they should have. Um, mainly because of oh, bureaucracy things and people not paying things they should. Uh, namely the people who should have bought this house. Uh, turns out they didn't pay. So we've been stuck in limbo for around three months. And now I'm finally moving. We're finally moving. Um, so... I thought I would make a video uh, addressing well, some of the stuff that I have around here. Uh, my room is completely torn down right now. Well, not completely, but almost completely. I'm in the process right now of uh, tearing down my hi-fi system. This is my tuner. It's a Grandir STV6000. Very nice tuner. And I have some other components there, uh, my CD player, mini disc deck and cassette deck. Um, yeah, I'm turning this thing down. I don't know, I thought I'd give you guys a bit of a look at the things um, I'm trying to move because I have a lot of stuff and I didn't really realize until I started doing this that I have a lot of stuff. You've seen it. Um, in earlier videos, before I uh, cleaned up my room, when I had everything just all over the place, uh, it, it was just a mess. Now I had a clean room, I don't anymore, since the move came, so, oh well, what you gonna do? Let's take a look at some random things. I mean, I'm uploading a video, might as well just start talking about whatever. Um, let's see, these are some keyboards, this is a mouse pad, this is a Sun Microsystems mouse pad. Until I got this, I could not find a scan of this, I've always wanted one of these mouse pads. Until I got this one, I, I was never able to find a high quality scan of this thing on the internet. Now there is a high quality scan, look around you will find it. Also this slogan, that's always gonna be Suns. I'm, I'm not gonna comment any further on that. Um, yeah, Sun Type 6 keyboard, mini din, plug. It's a Sun Type 6, it, it's one of the ugly, <laughs> the ugliest keyboards ever made. Um, it's very nice to type on though. Sun crossbow mouse, uh, this is also minted in. Under there, that's an Apple keyboard. Apple Design, I believe it's called. Uh, it has an ADB uh, connector on it. This box, this is full of... These are just random spares. Um, here is some Cat6. This is, is left over from an installation I did some months ago. I was just told uh, to keep it, so here it is. Not really much use to me since I bought this. This is 50 meters of duplex. I didn't even know this existed. This is two cables side by side together. This is 50 meters of duplex uh, Cat7 cable. This is what I'm gonna wire up the new house with. I have this, which is a cable 
guide, I believe it's called a cable guide, not sure. So yeah, I'm gonna uh, cable the new house with Cat7 because I got a switch that can do 10 gigabit. It cannot really do 10 gigabit uh, over copper as it is right now because it has 24 gigabit uh, ports and two SFP plus ports. So in the, I'm, I'm just going to uh, cable the house with Cat7. When I get uh, 10 gigabit capable devices, I'll just slap a a copper module, SFP plus copper module into the switch. And I'll use this, this cabling, no problem whatsoever. Uh, that's for the uplink. The other SFP plus connector is already occupied and that's going to my new computer. It's going to use a DAC cable and that's to my new computer, which I already have the motherboard for. I am going back to x86 since I don't know. It, it seems like it's getting kind of better thanks to Ryzen and all that. So I have an AM4 motherboard. So I'm going to throw a Ryzen chip in. I'll build the computer next year. I cannot promise you a video because you know how it how it always ends up. Uh, I promise a video and then I don't upload anything. So I'm not going to promise anything. That Cat7 cable is going to end up here. This is a patch panel. It's a 16 port um, Cat6A uh, patch panel. Uh, funny thing, I pretty much the rest of the network is going to be Cat 6A, except for the cabling itself, which is going to be uh, Cat 7, and that is simply because that Cat 7 cable, I guess because it isn't really standard, it isn't really a standard thing, um, it was cheap, it was very, very cheap, and it's, it's proper, like, uh, copper core cable, it's not that aluminium core crap it, it's it's good cable but it was very cheap so yeah cut seven it is that box is full of keyboards which means I cannot use any desktop computers right now that's uh, an SVHS camcorder those are all my monitors all of my LCD monitors my CRTs are somewhere else well they are still in my room um, no, I'm not gonna box those up I'm just gonna uh, throw them in the car, of course, gently, and I'm just gonna get them to the new house. Then there are these, which are some of the machines I got, and there are still some computers in my room, but these are some of the computers that I had in my room. Well, computers. Some of them aren't really computers, but... <clears throat> Let's start. These are HPX terminals. I'm not gonna pronounce that. Because I believe those three last letters, the way uh, you pronounce them, is going to upset uh, YouTube. Uh, so these are um, HPX terminals. This one is a... This one runs on a MIPS processor, if you can believe that. It's an R4300. So the same processor as the Nintendo 64. And this... This is the weird one. Uh, this runs on an Intel i960. I kid you not. <laughs> it, it, this is a really fine specimen. This, this is what, one proper strange machine. And it's actually, it's, they seem to be quite rare. Because they're really weird things. Again, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to promise a video on it. I might do one. But I'm not going to promise anything. Apples. Um, Performa 6320, Power Macintosh G3, this is a cursed um, Power Macintosh 6166, the case says 60, the motherboard is 66, this thing is cursed, I don't know why, but I cannot get anything except for system 7.5, it's either 7.5.5 or 7.5.1 uh, running on it. For the life of me, I cannot get any other system to install or to run. If I try to install the system, and I'm using a, a generic CD, it just tells me that the system is not supported. 
If I use the 6100 CD, it tells me the system is not supported. If I try to start up uh, an installation, a working installation, it tells me that the system enablers for this machine uh, are not installed. It's just so strange. It's it's like, I don't know. So this machine came to me. I bought it because it came with a lot of uh, networking stuff. It came to me without a ROM. I bought it as non-working in a lot. And it, it was missing the, the ROM SIM. I bought a 6100 ROM SIM. And 7.5.5 or 7.5.1, I cannot remember, the system that I had installed in it, recognizes it as a 6100. But for some reason, everything else seems to think it is some other kind of machine. And I have absolutely no clue if it's the ROM that is identifying the machine as something it isn't, or what it is. It doesn't have any options installed. The PDS slot is empty. It has enough RAM for just about every system I try to install in it. I think it has 64 megs. I have absolutely no clue why this thing does that. That's an iMac G3. We've seen that. It's a DV Plus. I think it's a 400. Not sure if it's a 400 or 450 right now. I don't know. I use it to play music in the background. It's it's nice. Uh, this is one of my latest acquisitions. This is a Sun Ultra 10. Uh, technically, it is a Creator 3D. However, I don't have the Creator 3D graphics card in it. Sorry, frame buffer. I don't have the UPA uh, Creator 3D frame buffer in it. Uh, however, that doesn't really matter because I put an XVR100 in it, which is miles faster than the Creator 3D frame buffer. Um, it's a, I believe, a 333, either 300 or 333 megahertz Ultra Spark 2. It's lowest um, speed CPU. It has 512 megabytes of 5 volt EDO DIM RAM, which, yeah, people with Power Mac 9600s seem to fight. For that memory, uh, they I, I've seen them. I mean, I know of some people who would kill to have the memory modules this thing has because it uses the same memory modules as those Power Macs. But yeah, it's it, it's a nice machine. Um, except for one thing, it has an IDE bus. It doesn't have SCSI built in. I have a SCSI card for it, but um, it has an external port, so I need an external enclosure or a loop back cable, which would look awful but yeah this machine goes um, so I'm planning to build a Sun setup a little Sun corner so to speak um, I'm gonna use this machine at first I was gonna use a, a blade 150 but I decided against that I'm gonna use this I'm gonna use that keyboard this mouse pad that mouse and a couple of Sun monitors that I have in there um, they're not CRTs they're 17 inch, um, I believe they're UB3B, Sun UB3B monitors. Uh, they're pretty standard monitors, 1280 by 1024. This will do dual head now because it has the XVR100. I keep calling it the XVR100. It's a Radeon 7000. It's a Radeon 7000. It's it's even the Mac edition with just with a, a different ROM. It literally is a a Radeon 7000 Mac edition with a different ROM. But yeah, it does dual head with that now. Technically, using the built-in frame buffer, it can also do a triple head, but the built-in frame buffer at um, 1024 by 768 is limited to 8-bit color, and I don't really want 8-bit color. So yeah, that's about that I believe that yeah that pretty much covers it um I don't know when I'm going to be able to upload videos technically by uh, next month uh, I should be moved into the house but it needs a lot of work uh, it needs painting it needs the network wiring done it needs 
the windows uh, changed. It's gonna be a lot of work, so don't don't really expect videos from me in the next couple months or so. Hopefully by um, by next year I will be able to upload something. Hopefully. So yeah, I'll leave you with this beautiful mouse pad. Uh, as JP Kiwi Geek says, if you have been, thank you for watching and have a good one.